In this video, I'll show you a few different ways to access Microsoft OneDrive storage from a Mac computer. If you're unfamiliar with Microsoft OneDrive, it's an alternative to other popular cloud storage solutions like Dropbox and Google Drive. It comes as default for most Windows users and is deeply integrated into the Windows operating system. However, if you're a Mac user, then you have to use a browser or download the OneDrive application to access your files. Both of these methods do have their downsides, but before I break down the pros and cons, the very last method that I found, which is also the easiest and fastest way to manage OneDrive files directly on your Mac, is through a piece of software called CloudMounter. So be sure to watch until the end of the video to get a 20% discount from the developer for your purchase of CloudMounter. Now, as I've mentioned before, perhaps the easiest way to connect OneDrive to a Mac is by using any internet browser and navigating to the OneDrive website. From there, you log in with a Microsoft account and access the files online. But this being the most simple way, it's also the most useless one. As a user has to download each file to their local computer to directly work with it, or use the Office 365 app to open them. Also, uploading any files, especially large files, can take some time, and if you close the browser tab before completing the process, your upload will be interrupted and you'll have to start all over. An alternative to this is using the Microsoft OneDrive app for Mac to work directly with the cloud storage. However, it uses online space to back up and synchronize local files so that the same data still occupies space on the hard drive of the computer. Obviously, this can be crucial for laptop users with low capacity storage drives. So both of these methods are far from convenient and a user will need a third party app in order to flawlessly work with OneDrive storage on their Mac computer. And the one that I've found is called Cloud Mounter by Ultima Software. It works as an addition to Finder by mounting OneDrive storage as a removable drive to a user's Mac and then showing the storage content as if it was a local folder on the computer. These files are being downloaded into cache only if the user opens them, and then they are automatically removed upon closing. This way, CloudMounter removes both limitations of native and browser access to the storage. It doesn't occupy any space on the hard drive, and it provides direct access to the files to work with in any third-party app. On top of all of that, CloudMounter has built-in encryption functionality, and this allows it to encrypt online files. So only a CloudMounter user with a master password can access them. So just in case the user's password is ever stolen, the thief will only see nonsense. There are other third-party solutions with similar functionality that are worth mentioning, like Expand Drive or Mountain Duck. But compared to CloudMounter, their cons outweigh the pros. Things like price tag, lack of built-in encryption functionality that requires another tool for the same purpose, and other core features simply can't provide the same functionality. So after trying these other options, I'm left with only one choice when it comes to a perfect solution for seamlessly connecting Microsoft OneDrive storage to my Mac computer. And my suggested software would have to be CloudMounter by Eltima Software. And in addition to the benefits I listed before, besides OneDrive, CloudMounter also supports many other cloud storage providers. Providers like Google Drive, Dropbox, Amazon S3, Box, as well as server protocols like FTP, SFTP, WebDA, and many others. So if you've been looking for a simple but robust solution for accessing your OneDrive files on your Mac computer, then look no further than CloudMounter. You can find a link to their website down in the description below to test it out for yourself. They do offer a 15-day free trial that has full functionality and you're not restricted by any paywalls. They've also included a free mode that allows users to connect one instance of OneDrive, Google Drive, and Dropbox without any limitations. And if you fall in love with it, CloudMounter is also available in both a standalone edition with a lifetime license for $45 or an auto-renewable subscription through the App Store. And as promised, I'll put the discount code to that 20% off your purchase of CloudMounter on screen right now and in the description below. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel for other helpful content just like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.